That's why I went to stay at Ettington Park Hotel, judged the most haunted hotel in the country. The plan was for Chris to go ahead of me to find out the ghostly history of the place. Here at Ettington Park Hotel, they've lost count of how many times this book has mysteriously fallen from its shelf. It's always to be found open at the very same page. A merry place, tis said in days of yore, but something ails it now. The place is cursed. Part of the duties at night were to relay the fires in the library bar and the front hall that you can see across there. And I started to relay the fire, clean out for the next morning. I just had this feeling that some, somebody or something was over my shoulder watching me. And I thought, well, shall I have a look or shall I I was in 50-50, or shall I have a look, a bit worried. And I thought, well, might as well. So I looked around from the fireplace and coming down the main staircase was this lady. And that was a, a, like a white mist, but there's a shape, definitely a shape of a person or a lady in this, in this mist. Robbie isn't the only one to claim to have seen the Grey Lady, as she's become known. Just a few weeks ago, a sighting was reported by the guest staying in this room, Mark Helberg. We weren't quite asleep, as I say, we were sleeping lightly, but um, it appeared we, at one point that we thought that there was a light coming through the curtains, and I said to her, I I'd get up and would close them. I went over to the curtains, and uh, instead of where there was a, a slight crack, instead of closing them, I opened them for some reason. And at, at that point, I saw, uh, say, what I believe was a woman. But after this, I went back, got, onto, got into bed, and I said to my girlfriend, I think I've seen a ghost. And I got the usual eyes, you know, and rolled over and carried on going to sleep. And it was some time later, and I noticed a light coming over from the door. I, I felt myself drawn towards the door. There was no noise, no sound whatsoever, just this light. And as I say, as I moved towards the door, opened it, and there in front of me I saw the woman who I'd seen previously over the other side of the corridor. I was scared stiff at this time by the expression on her face. Like any house that stood for nearly a thousand years, Ettington has seen its share of human tragedy. In Victorian times, it said two young children drowned here in the River Stour, which runs through the grounds. Over the years, it's claimed they've made several ghostly reappearances, most recently to a woman staying in the aptly named Stour Suite. She complained of children running up and down outside her room during the night. Nobody's ever succeeded in recording a ghost on a video camera, but there seems to have been such a lot of activity here recently that we thought, well, we'll give it a go. And to help out, we've asked along somebody who knows nothing of the history of this place. Chris has given me a map of the house showing the reportedly most active areas, and that's obviously where I'm going to concentrate my efforts through the night. And uh, if I find anything, Hopefully, I'll manage to record it on this. But, of course, the rules are I have to do it by myself, so it's time for you to leave, chaps. Uh, hello. It's, uh, right. Just gone half past one in the morning. And, um, just, uh, been woken up. And I'm off to uh, hunt ghosts. Right, this is where we are at the top of the main staircase. Um, Although she doesn't know it, Carol is now going down the staircase where it's said the Grey Lady is most often seen. It's claimed she's the ghost of a maid who was pushed down the stairs by the lady of the house and broke her back. I'd say I feel lonely. I'm still not really happy. I suppose about uh, being uh, alone in a part of a, a great big old house. Right, I just come into what's called the long gallery, and um, uh, you 
gonna try and find some light switches. Quite a cold room this. Um, and I'm just sitting here trying to get used to the noises. Carol is now about to make her way down the back stairs. This will take her to some of the oldest parts of the hotel and the areas with the highest incidence of ghostly sightings. She's passing both Mark Helberg's room and another suite, which is said to be haunted by a man who hanged himself from the rafters. I gothic. I must admit, I, um, I do get spooked pretty easily. Uh, and this is part of this experiment, I suppose, in, in that I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Um, I'm now heading into another room called the Chapel Room. Ooh, it's very, very cold in here. Of all the rooms that I've visited, I would say that this one has uh, the most, what you might call, atmosphere. It's a very cold room, and um, I was given by Chris a, a, like a temperature sensor. It's got a digital readout at the front. And um, temperature has been fluctuating here between about 19 and a half degrees C and, uh, and about 18. Your feelings about that particular room are quite interesting because 300 years ago it said that children affected by the plague were brought there in, in some kind of attempt to cure them. So it's got a very sad history to it. Well, that's quite interesting because of all the rooms, it, it, I didn't feel particularly uneasy there. I felt quite safe, but I wasn't truly comfortable, I have to say. You filmed first in the middle of the night and, and then again at dawn. Were there any differences between those two sessions? It's remarkable how much more comfortable you feel when the light has come up outside. And I would have been quite happy to sit there every dawn, to be perfectly honest, but then I like that time of day. Uh, but still the chapel room, even though the light was then coming through the windows, still it felt quite uneasy. I still wouldn't like to spend a lot of time there. As Chris said, the chapel at Attington Park was used for child victims of the plague, many of whom must have died there. The room was surprisingly cold, and although I didn't see a ghost, there was definitely a physical change happening that I couldn't explain.